Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. This is Terry. Uh, today we're going to uh, follow up our exterior mod video with an interior mod video for our 2021 Grand Design Momentum 31G toy hauler. And uh, you know, it wasn't till I uh, was reviewing everything to hopefully so hopefully i don't miss anything on this video i'm sure i probably will miss something so if you see something you want to know something about just just tell me in the comments and i'll try to i'll try to do better um but wow we we made a lot of changes and uh hey it's a great trailer don't get me wrong it's a great trailer just the way it is but there's always something to personalize always something to change always something to make it a little better uh, we've talked about this in videos before but i i have never been able to leave well enough alone all you got to do is look around the channel at the shop in general the talon the 31g the whatever and you'll see i'm constantly searching for some way to improve something so uh and we've made a lot of uh modifications uh on the inside so let's go out there and get a look at it uh i'll put as many links as i can uh, down in the description if there's something else that you uh Want to know something about don't don't hesitate to ask and i'll try to chase down a link for you and i'll have those all in the video description um, if you're watching on your phone and you haven't done it before there's a little down arrow that's going to be just to the right of the video title and if you hit that that will open up the description and that'll have all the links in there so uh, let's uh let's make the trek out to the 31g and we'll shoot the interior mod video here we are inside the 31g and uh Let's take the mod tour. So let's start right here in the bathroom. I'll start with simple stuff. So toilet paper holders, uh, uh, towel holders and, and such all. I think all those came from Amazon, so pretty cool. Uh, this little gizmo right here. Have all the fans on and one AC on today because <laughs> it's hot. Um, that is part of this knob and that, as you can see, opens and closes. The vent up there and on top of the vent is our max air 2 fan cover so those all work very well together to uh, make this a much better deal anybody that has one of these knows that the faucet in the bathroom is terrible uh, plastic to start off with and it's hard to get your hands under there so it's not very friendly so this one's much better much higher obviously and you can get, you can actually wash your hands with that one um, I don't have any water in it right now, so I can't show you, but this is the this little thing is an LED that lights up in the in the screen there, so powered by the water, so kind of cool. As many of you already have, I'm sure, the Oxygenix shower head, way better than the original. I did I did buy this unit and then I, I ended up just changing out the handle so they match better. A little shelf there for soap and shampoo and such that is actually attached to the wall with wall anchors and very heavily sealed so not worried about any leaks or anything deteriorating there skylight way too bright so this is a uh, uh, shade retractable shade that's actually made by the people that made the skylight so it just slides back like that and uh holds up a lot of uv out and makes it way cooler in here too so it's not really really thermal but does hold out a lot of heat and then one of our favorite mods in the trailer is the nautilus retractable shower door and uh, this is just to us just absolutely the perfect thing here back up so you can get a little bit better look at it and uh, that is, it's, um, it's plastic. And obviously it just hooks over there on the side. It has upper track, lower track. You can see how the plastic is actually in behind that lower track. So that's the perfect thing really. There's a wiper inside the canister that actually wipes the water off of that uh, door as it closes. So no, no problem with cleaning or anything there. And uh, just really really ramped up everything in the bathroom here so where we we love this bathroom now so all right let's move on into the bedroom one of the most 
ask about mods of the thing is the bed mod and uh, I did not think of this it's just my version of it but the original mattress not good at all it's way too hard for us anyway if you can sleep on it I'm happy for you but we could not so this platform I built this platform and it's on a piano hinge and that is to take up the space there that uh, you need for the slide out and uh, if you have one of these you know that the original mattress there is that part of the original mattress is thicker uh, so you have to do that to make up the space so you can put the regular mattress in there and that is the 8 inch Zenus memory foam uh, green tea infused why in the world do you want that in your mattress I have no clue but that's what everybody else had so it seemed very popular so we went ahead and got that one and uh, like I said it folds up so the slide can come in and the, the, the mattresses fold really easily so let me uh, get it loose here kind of a trick with one hand but we will make it one thing that Cheryl absolutely hated about this is how hard it was to make the bed man this this is really tough with it up in there and this turned out to be the answer um, these are kind of spendy but this bedding is from a place called Betty's B-E-D-D-Y-S and um, for the lack of anything better it's almost like a sleeping bag it, uh, it has zippers on the sides the sheet actually comes out in here so you got a sheet and this uh, sort of bedspread all made together and it just zips around on both sides comes with the pillowcase shams and all that like I said a little bit spendy but man one of the best things we did is right there that that, that just made made making the bed and I, I don't know about y'all but we couldn't keep the covers on the thing but uh, absolutely can now so very good all right another little mod we talked about it on the outside one a little bit let me let me make it come on here so you can see it light up but this is the Victron uh, BMV 712 smart battery monitor and uh, there's actually an app that goes with this so I don't really monitor it here all that much I just monitor it on my phone but this tells you everything in the world you want to know about your battery how much how much you're pulling out how much is left how much is going in when you have the solar or you're charging with the charge controller uh, I'm sorry if you're charging with the charge controller on the solar or if you're charging with the converter charger um, and it, it just it's just uh, to me an absolute necessity if you're going to boondock 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 like we do to uh, know where you are with that battery so you know, speaking of that i'm just gonna all the fuses and everything are right there where the the converter charger is as well and i've changed that out to the wifeco um, one that was in there is just not very good honestly and it has a um, progressive much better charger in there much more well suited to the uh, hybrid gel battery so okay not really a mod but let's talk about this for a second if you're having trouble if you don't get tv channels i can almost guarantee you that in behind this wall plate is wired incorrectly we have seen a lot of them and uh, on our facebook group the momentum 29g 31g facebook group there's a uh, in the files are all the pictures and everything so you can get that straightened out we have great reception once we got the cables turned around the right direction uh, unfortunately grand design has wired a lot of these trailers wrong so that's uh just the fyi there and today it is a really it, it's hot today and uh, i have all the fans going all the lights going and interestingly enough i'm actually running the uh bedroom ac and uh See here, it, it, it's still hot, but oh well, it's not gonna, they don't want to focus on that. But trust me, it's on and it's on high, and uh, I did that just so I can make the video. Um, but if you watch the outside, then you know that we have a 30 to 15 converter or adapter back there, and you can see even with that on high, all the fans going and everything else. Hopefully, this thing will focus. Maybe it's not going to. There it is. It's on 12 amps right now, running that AC on high. And so with every light and every fan on. So um, over on this other side, also one of my favorite things is this Level Mate Pro. And uh, that thing, for those of you who have it, already know how cool it is. But that's a little device that you set up 
once you have your trailer level, then you tell this little device that it's level, and there's a phone app, uh, absolutely mandatory to me for boondocking, so you can find the best levelest place to uh, to begin to set up. Um, like I said before, I have the links to all that stuff down in the description. Uh, not really a mod, but just something I was going to show you. We have these little hanging thermometers in, in the refrigerator and in the freezer both. And uh, man, these refrigerators, you, you got you just got to monitor. We've never had a minute's trouble with it. It's done really well, but you got to monitor. So those, those things will really help you monitor. A little geared uh, paper towel holder. Our, we're not much on decoration, but we are much on coffee. So we had to make a little thing for coffee right there. Um, these down here this one it's a little bit too much light going in there right now so to help it a little bit you can see there's a another one of those stick up lights like i showed you on the outside they're in every compartment uh under the sinks and everywhere and uh, they normally work really well i had to give that one a little hand but they are motion activated uh, from amazon give you a little light in there i'll show you a little bit in the pantry it's not really a mod again but just for those of you that might not have used them, the, these tension bars, man, they are great. I mean, they, they really, really work well. And uh, we, we've used them in all these cabinets. We use them in the refrigerator. Just a really, really nice little way to hold your stuff. So, all right, let's move out into the garage. And the uh, first thing you see here is E-Track. And uh, there's four pieces of E-Track on the floor. And those, um, I have a video on that as well. I'll, I'll link that video, of course. Um, those are attached to the marine decking back here with 92 one quarter by one and a quarter lag screws. And uh, I cut those to size just for the right size for the talon. The the tape, there's, there's red tape, little pieces of red tape, you can't see the rest of them, but they're under there that go back that just help me get it in here straight. And, uh, just some caps, end caps and bolt head caps just to make it, you know, dress dress it up and uh, just make it look a little bit better. Uh, we do use this Predator generator at night if we need to run the AC, AC at night. And uh, it lives right there and straps down there and it, it fits the fat. The talon backs up perfectly right on top of it. A lot of stuff stuck up there, of course. Take a little peek in this bathroom. Got that same faucet in here. Got the same light under the sink, of course. Uh, same toilet paper holders and such in there. And then uh, another mod, quite a few mods back here that everybody talks about. Uh, first thing is, we really didn't care for the original table. It's kind of a wrestling match to get it out of up here y'all know it, it stows up there and I don't I don't want to have to get that thing down for that so made it kind of difficult to get in and out um, on the patio which we absolutely love so this is just a little folding table that actually folds folds all up and folds in half we just store it in that in the half bath there and it's just really the perfect thing super light I cap the holes down there and then um, another video on this stuff as well but bulletproof in this happy jack so first thing is to add another add another uh, leg down there on, on these couches so they have two we have also changed out all of the self tappers that were in wood to regular lag screws here um, can't really see it but uh, there's been a lot of trouble with the set screw on the drive shaft coming loose and one side of this bed falling uh, we've solved that problem by replacing the set screw with a bolt with some Loctite on it and a, a well-placed hose clamp to keep that drive shaft from moving. So I have another video on all that. These lights have been, everybody that knows that has this knows that it's kind of a dark hole. So these lights are really handy. Uh, just got these lights on Amazon. And they just have their own switch. So it's just a matter of turning them on and off. They're actually getting power from this light over here on the wall. The power for this light is actually coming down from above, so I just drilled another hole above the Happy Jack uh, brace there. Fished a wire, fished wires down into here, 
connected them to the to this light and up there and then over to the upper bunk with this uh, retractable cord so that way when the bunk moves the cord can go with it and uh, and the lights work whether the bunk is up or down so i think that pretty much covers it uh, i'm sure i probably missed something well i have missed something so I do have the uh the lippert screen door handles and to me this is another absolute must i mean you got you got to have them uh, we do have the thin shades as well on these uh, exterior doors uh, nice little addition kind of kind of overpriced for what you get but does work exactly in the window and and makes all that pretty nice so uh, i guess that's it about it for the inside mods uh, like i said I, I've, I've probably missed something somewhere so if somebody wants to if you got a question about anything any comments uh, be sure to leave them down in the uh, in the comment section i'll try to answer questions as quick as i can appreciate everybody watching see you next time